I've been here seven years as a chess consultant and you've been here five years, I think, now. Yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, started in a substantive place five years ago as a, as a single-handed rheumatologist. I freely admit I was a little bit apprehensive about coming and working in a smaller trust, but actually I think that's worked to my advantage in terms of developing a department and team. I came here as a single-handed rheumatologist five years ago, uh, and over the course of five years, with a lot of support from colleagues and from management staff, managed to develop that team into two consultants, the equivalent to three whole-time equivalent nurses. We, for the last 18 months, have had an SPR doing general medicine and rheumatology. We now have one VTS trainee and have been asked recently to take on another VTS trainee. Um, so I, I think it's been great, and I, I think that speed of development might have been difficult to achieve without a small team around you and a network that works very well of clinicians and managers to help you support that process. It's a great place to, if you want to develop a service for example, and I as a respiratory consultant do lots of practical procedures and one thing that patients particularly found frustrating was having to travel to get um, tunnel chest drains put in and so I've set up a service here again with support um, and funding um, and it was very straightforward to set it up and involve the radiology department and it's just very nice to have that interaction with other departments that that you can easily set these things up and you know I'm at the moment the only place in the uh, Devon and Cornwall apart from the surgeons who are doing this so it's really good that you can develop you know kind of new slightly innovative stuff that you sort of imagine you can only do in big hospitals but actually sometimes it's easier to do it in a small hospital I think. We all get very good feedback about the care we you know because we've got a smaller base you know very good relationship with our nursing staff physios and OTs um, and we all work together and I think and that helps you know we're a training trust and we have uh, quite a lot of juniors in all specialties obviously more in medicine than others and and I've been heavily involved in training as college tutor for mm, five years and now I'm the training programme director for the whole of core medical training for Devon and Cornwall so you can develop your career outside your clinical practice but you know it's nice having trainees and I, the trainees enjoy it and we get to know them very well very quickly because mm. if you have a trainee struggling you'll have a corridor conversation almost straight away so you can put in support and that's really rewarding um, and it means that on the ward rounds you get to teach and you know I know you and I both do lots of teaching to our juniors and colleagues and GPs and and, uh, and it's a really nice aspect of our work that I really like. Keen things I was aiming to do was to take on a bit of research. Yeah. And with the development of the research portfolios, that's been a lot easier. So we have taken on quite a few research projects that are more observational. We haven't yet been able to do interventional studies because we've got some logistics with a new chemotherapy unit coming, mm. um, which is going to be fantastic. So I've been primary investigator on five multi-centre studies um, and my colleagues being primary investigator on another two and they've been some really quite novel studies looking at withdrawal of therapies in rheumatoid arthritis with some hopefully quite interesting outcomes that we'll be able to sort of use to manage our patients and influence treatment of patients for years to come. The research department here are very active, aren't they? And they keep sending us um, lots of trials. Uh, the other respiratory consultant is more involved, but she's got us enrolled in a couple of studies. Um, ours are clinical based, which is easier for us. So one's about empyemas. But you know, it's just great to have that support from the from the research nurses that they can kind of take the stress away from it, so that we can pick the good studies and and uh, make them worthwhile. What about living in North Devon? I love it, essentially. Uh, what, what's there not to like? I live in a lovely house, have a big garden with beautiful views out the back, got a happy family, got three small boys all under seven. Two of them are in the village primary school that's just over the road. The other one is in a nursery in the village. The drop-off takes about 35 seconds for all three children. We've got beaches, whether you want sort of rocky, pebbly beaches or whether you want big surf beaches, they're all there. We've got Exmoor and Dartmoor, you can pick where you live. You can either live in a village. I live right in the middle of Barnstable and it's a 10 minute walk down a leafy lane to work and children can walk to school. There are private schools if you want them, but mine go to the local comprehensive and there's two in Barnstable equally as good. Um, so it's just lovely to not have that stress about living in the right postcode.
one of the great things that a lot of the schools have here is they sort of embrace the, the professional couples yeah. working and they have preschool and after school uh, facilities. So there's not that pressure to, to right. dash out of work and go and pick them up. There's the, you know, yeah. adequate time so that that gives you the nice balance of work and you feel you're contributing to work properly and giving your patients due care and attention. Yeah. You're not flying out of a clinic to go and pick your kids yeah. up. But at the same time, I, I always feel my kids are in a place that they almost prefer to have. I know, that's the same with mine. They get very disappointed if they yeah. don't go to the holiday club enough in the summer yeah. holidays. They get quite disappointed if I take annual leave. Yes. But that's just a good sign that they're happy, yeah. isn't it? But I love that fact that, you know, you can finish work on a Friday and, you know, meet your family on the beach in half an hour. You're all in the sea and then have a barbecue and, you know, yeah. what else would you want, really? Yeah.